Hi beautiful people, welcome back to the Unfiltered with Purple podcast. I'm your beautiful host, Purple, and you're welcome. Yeah, I am on fire lately. I'm just bringing episode after episode and that's about it you guys when i have a thought in my head i literally think about it process it i write it down if i have to and i just want to go like i just want to talk as i don't want to wait because if i wait i might not have the the spark that i had the first time around so i never want to wait i just want to go ahead and talk about it so on today's episode i'll be talking about things that i'm realizing as i get older first up um now these are things i'm realizing i personal view okay emphasis on personal so first of all being over independent i've talked about this in a few short clips if you follow me on tiktok you know what i'm talking about but if you don't i'm gonna go ahead and say it again so being an over independent woman what i mean by over is you're constantly working constantly chasing the bag you don't have time to rest yo there is nothing cute about that there's nothing feminine about always working i feel like being a feminine is all about being a nurturer and to be that you need to be um calm you know almost as like calm take things easy take things slow and just be easy with yourself us women we are literally meant to nurture those around us our home our kids you know we are supposed to be that you know what do what do you call it homemaking is literally what is supposed to be our our profession okay so i feel like when you're constantly working that kind of takes you out of your femininity and i've seen this i've seen this because you literally become a man or you carry the energy of a man because men are the ones naturally i mean traditionally who are supposed to chase the bag and actually work and focus on caring and taking care of the family meanwhile the woman tries to care for the home the kids you know that kind of stuff so i feel like being feminine is all about being easy and staying you know calm and you know spending time with the lord you know taking care of your home taking care of your kids um trying to make the household the best comfort comfortable place ever for the kids and the husband you know so and also take care of yourself because you need to take care of yourself too to take care of those around you you can't neglect yourself they say you can't pour from an empty cup so you need to take care of yourself so that you can take care of other people period you remember that time when we were growing up and our parents would be burning sage and pouring holy water on us when we are asleep and praying at midnight to 3 a.m if they could or wake up at 3 a.m and start praying start praying start praying and then you know we would look at them as if they are the craziest people we have ever met but i'm realizing that i'm gonna be that i'm going to start being that person as i i get uh deeper into adulthood and now desiring children desiring a home i'm supposed to be that kind of woman now who prays after my home who prays for my kids who prays for my husband i'll be that same woman burning sage and you know trying to chase and cast out demons from my home it seems small but it's actually a very big deal and those things actually work and protect our home so i'm realizing that those things (laughs) i looked at them like oh no she started again what is she doing but now as i'm getting older i'm realizing that it is actually very essential it benefits and it helps us i'm just realizing that i'm supposed to be doing that soon and i'm like god help me let me be able to pray after my people pray after you know it's a beautiful thing but you know i took that for granted now i'm realizing that it's actually benefited us as a home it helped us you know ha y'all guys another thing is that family is all you have at the end of the day when it's all said and done you guys it comes down to family family is all that you have yo i felt this this past december yo you know i'm far away from my family and what 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 but i mean i'm growing i'm 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 getting i'm an adult now and obviously soon i'm gonna start 
making my own family but there's that thing that you know i, I love my family man you know i, I want to give to my family show how appreciative i am of what they have done for me you know that those desires are now like really kicking in so hard and I'm realizing that I love these people. I cherish these people. My family is not perfect at all. We are flawed. We have our mistakes. We have our errors. We, you know, we were not always good to each other and everything. But at the end of the day, they are family. And God did not make a mistake by giving you that family that you gave, that he gave you. And I pray for protection over our families. And may our families flourish in Jesus' name. So, it all comes down to family guys keep in touch with your family if you can if you can't i mean try reconcile with them try talk to them and pray i think if you have hurt over past relatives or like maybe things that happened in your family in your home i think pray about it and ask god to give you the spirit of forgiveness like ask him to help you forgive if they wronged you and if you wrong them if you're shy first ask for him to forgive you give you the strength to to go back and apologize or even let them soften their hearts and forgive you you know type of thing because guys family 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 even when you're getting married you need your family even when you die you need your family even it's just family 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 so we need to feel a place of belonging when it's all said and done and it's like okay i got this i got this but at the end of the day this is my, my people the people that i that i knew from birth like you know before i even knew my husband before i even knew my best friend i knew these people they were the people that i grew up looking at it all comes down to family we better cherish these people okay thank you i'm also realizing relationships aren't about feelings okay the biggest mistake that we make is thinking that a relationship is always supposed to be good happy sweet and all those butterflies every time let me tell you something that's not it relationships are about two people who have come together and decided underline decided to do this life thing together whether it gets hard whether it gets easy whether it gets whatever they are still together navigating through life as one that is what a relationship is about so the people who are like oh no i divorced him because i was no longer happy listen my dear it's not always going to be that way it's not always going to be sweet the people who are in relationships and marriages today let them come clean to you and tell you that this is not always it's not always like this you know let's be real there's nothing like two people that god has joined together that is a powerful force and that is why the devil comes attacking unionship like he comes attacking marriage because he knows that two people being one is a powerful 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 team okay another thing i'm realizing is that our parents were right they tried to warn us number one about relationships i think the thing about relationships is um the heartbreak too you know they knew that this thing is not easy especially the older people who have been married years they know that yo it, are you sure about this person because it's not easy and they know that if you choose the right partner you are doomed for life so that is why they always talked about relationships no don't 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 date don't date like you're too young you know focus on school because they know the consequences that come with the challenges that come with it and of, obviously you're too young you're, you're still very immature and also of course sexual intercourse a lot could go wrong there birth pregnant i mean sorry i said birth <laughs> pregnancy and um diseases can be transmitted and you know all these things so they were right at the end of their day they were right and i think soul ties they they could not obviously explain it to us when we were younger because we would not have understood but i think that's a major point soul ties they knew that when two people lay together as one they 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 share energy they share um soul so 
it's like when you want to break up now it's hard to break up why because you guys have been laying together and you guys are now one team you guys are one now okay so they they try to warn us because obviously these things they couldn't have explained them to us at that age because we wouldn't have understood but as i'm getting older i'm linking one and two together and i'm like mm, okay <laughs> one is going out at night they tried warning us about this now with this one it's tricky because they they just wanted to protect us it was for protection now i'm really thankful to my parents now i i i, I did have so many opportunities to sneak out and go out at night but i i never really like desired it you know but a lot could go wrong at night you know you you could get hurt you could get injured you could be mixing with the wrong people who will lead you astray you know there's drugs there's you know misuse of alcohol and all these things so if you fall into the wrong hands you lose yourself so they were just skeptical and protecting us also energy you know mixing and meeting different type of people you know <sighs> yo our parents were right <laughs> I, I, even with friendships because how they were so picky and selective and wanting to know who's this person who's this person and they could see and judge from the character that mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. like they they were always invested in the people that we are around because <clears throat> they know energy is very important and if just by mixing with the wrong person they could everything they have instilled you in you everything they have taught you it could just be demolished so that that's why they wanted to know like who what is going on with my child you know they were right after all they did their best to protect us and i'm realizing that they were a hundred percent right they tried to warn us and they had the best interest at heart shit god bless our parents <laughs> the last one that i've realized as i'm getting older is self-disappointment you know when you tell yourself that okay tomorrow i'm gonna do this and you actually don't do it your spirit your spirit it's like you've dissolved i don't know you just feel down so i've realized that it's a real thing so next time you try to say hey tomorrow i'm gonna wake up and do this try to do it because after you've done it there's this i don't know what we're releasing or whatever but like you feel good about yourself don't disappoint yourself so much it's it's hurting like i don't know what it hurts maybe it's our inner child or whatever it is but stop trying to disappoint yourself okay um get up and do what you need to do and thank me later <laughs> well, those are just a few things i've realized as i'm getting older now i have a question for you what are the things that you are realizing as you get older comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like and share and i will see you guys on my next episode peace and love <laughs>